look at this. <coughs> this figure is just a beautiful figure, period. I mean, like, it's, well, I really shouldn't call it beautiful. It is very nice details. Um, the wrinkles are all good. Um, um, the eyes are shaped like <laughs> female reproductive parts. As, uh, the director said, he actually wanted them shaped like that. Um, Head's crack, though, that's about right. The movie the head's crack. Um, this tail is pretty good. Um, the figure sort of is lacking a lot in uh, the movement department. It doesn't move at all. Basically, it's not for playing or um, or filming with stop motion movies. It's for just standing there, shitting on yourself just because it's like a Godzilla mo movie character. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, he's also on. I bought him at, uh, I bought this one at Kia, my uh, local toy store, uh, Deluxe Toy and Hobby. I got a few uh, other Godzilla figures from KD Toys and some from Toys R Us and um, a lot from the internet. Um, but, uh, he's. I like this of him himself in the movies. So. I really don't have much to say, and, and uh, except for these details on here. It's a good figure, but look at this. It's flat. I mean, the feet are supposed to be flat, but it has no posability whatsoever. I mean, you can't even move the parts that look posable, because they're not. I mean, it's just pretty much straight sitting down. I mean, I um, just bought this because... You know, that's pretty much a Godzilla figure I could review. I I can't say it was worth uh, my ten bucks, but you know, I was bored and I, I had to have something to do with my 2004 Godzilla. This is a, this is in the 71 header. This is the um, 19 I mean 2004 header. So overall, the details are nice. The colors are very well done. Um. Painting's good. Um, uh, it's a a nice figure. They just could have made it posable. Uh, this is going to be a short video because there's really nothing to talk about of this uh, whole villain. Oh wait, but before we do the let's do some uh, scaling com comparisons from 2000 uh, the 2004 movie. Mm. Oh. Uh, mm, that's that's about right, but uh, I I think Heather was just just a little bit sh just a little bit taller. They're about the same size right here. I don't know if you can tell because of the camera angles, but uh, they're they they're usually about like Heather. They're about the same size, but Heather should be like that. A little, it's not a lot taller. I'm just saying they just should have did it like that. I mean. Overall, this is an alright figure for collecting. It's not really useful for anything else. Even the stop motion movies they made with it are pretty. They just don't look right. Because he doesn't have any posability whatsoever. He can't even move his hands or tail that look movable or head and that looks movable. So, <sighs> sadly, it, it's a very nice picture. I don't like to rate Bandai things low rating because I love the Godzilla franchise, but. This one's just a punch in the face suit and for everyone who likes to play with their action figures, especially little kids. This is what most of these action figures are released for, little kids and collectors. Even collectors want, want to play with their action figures every once in a while. So, I'm going to have to rate this um, a 3 out of 5 um, because of the lack of posability and uh, the, um, the poorly done uh, bottom of it. Because if you look at this, it just, it looks like someone took like a, like a sledgehammer and like flattened it to be just, even, look, even the legs are connected into one, and he has two legs. The tail's connected to the side of one leg, which is wrong, so, yeah, it gets a, it gets a three out of five, or was it a two out of five, I forget, probably a three. But, uh, I'm just gonna, the overall decision is actually yours, but. In my eyes, it's a 3 out of 5. 
Overall, um, if you're a fan, get this, or a collector of Godzilla toys, or a Bandai toys in general, get this. But if you're just a, if you're a person who likes to play with action figures and make stop motion movies, uh, and you just an average user that like to play with action figures, just uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh,